WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Monday, July 1st, first day of a new quarter. We got markets in positive territory, but pairing some of those gains that we had at the opening bell. S&P's up 16 points, trading at 2960. We get the Dow up 59 points, trading at 26,659. NASDAQ up 71 points, trading at 8,078. Dollar index, quite a day to the upside, up 734 ticks, 96,400. On the flip side of that gold pulling back with a strong dollar we got gold off almost $25 at 1388.90 oil positive 22 cents but had been as much as a buck 50 or more higher trading right now at 58.70 and notes and bonds we got some lower price higher yield the 10 year negative 11 ticks 127.20 30 year negative 26 ticks 154.25 and how about bitcoin down almost two thousand dollars trading at 10,236 we'll start things off we're going to jump around a bit we'll start it off with the 10 year yield so i talked about it last top of the hour at one o'clock quite an acceleration we were down there at about 2% on the 10-year. This is the yield. And then boom, as the market pulled back, as the dollar accelerated higher, you saw the 10-year accelerate higher in yield. We're sitting at 2.0412. Jumping around, what else we have going on? We'll jump over to the futures markets and we'll start it off with the Dow. And there's your acceleration. So not far from where we were in terms of the last update, one o'clock, we were right near these levels, but we're just kind of hanging right down here. We got two hours left to go in the trading day. We'll see where we end up. Dow trading 26, 649. Excuse me, NASDAQ 100, 77.79. Pretty similar story. I mean, the whole hour just sitting right at these levels. S&P 500, opening bell of 29.80. We're now a solid 20 points below that level, trading 29.60. Crude oil, quite the acceleration as well. Still technically in positive territory, but crude was above $60, now trading about a buck fifty under that level at $58.60. Gold contract as well, pulling back, trading at $13.89. And there's your euro chart. Your dollar is going to be an inverse of that. We're trading at $112.83. And to jump back, let's pull up a chart of that dollar because it is pretty remarkable. I think we go to N2. N2, are those our currencies? They sure are. There's the dollar index, top left. There's your euro, top right. The yen trading at 108.46, and that pound down there at 126.38. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up with the Power Trading Hour live from 2 till 3. Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 5. Have a great Monday.